guys and how are you today welcome or welcome back to my channel today as you see I got my red sweater on I got my red lipstick on and I'm ready to show you how to do three hairstyles perfect for the holiday season for Christmas for New Year's Eve they are very simple and easy to do please make sure to subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell to get more videos like this and uh, there is my cat right there this Lily oh I think I showed you they are both here they're so cute they're staying on the bed with me it's my first holiday video and I'm very excited and thank you very much for being here with me I really appreciate that so let's get started okay so we're gonna first start by uh, curling our hair uh, so as you see my hair right now is straight I didn't style it I washed it last night and this is how it looks you can create these hairstyles on straight hair or wavy hair or curly hair so it's for every hair type and your hair can be shorter than this or longer than this it doesn't really matter so I'm not gonna get too much in detail how I'm gonna curl my hair I'm just gonna do it I'm gonna use a flat iron uh, usually I section my hair and I just use this and create curls uh, more like waves <laughs> okay I'm gonna use a protecting spray Ooh. all right guys this is the final result I curl all my hair and I'm just gonna go a little bit with the fingers through it they are still warm so I don't want to overdo it so I'm not gonna put anything in it right now, no hairspray, no oil, I'm just gonna leave it like that to cool off just because I want it to be um, easy to work with so I'm not gonna add any hairspray. Look number one. For this look, uh, I'm literally gonna leave my hair like this so it doesn't matter if your hair is curly, wavy or straight. I part my hair right here. I think it looks very nice, very elegant. If you just like leave your hair like this a little bit on the forehead and with this part, we're gonna play here a little bit. I'm just gonna put an accessory. So I'm just gonna take my hair just like that so I bought a couple <laughs> gonna stay like this I bought a couple of accessories so these are bobby pins I have some with pearls and some with um, how you call this sequins and I also have this one uh, this is uh, in the shape of a Christmas tree it's so pretty all right so we we'll gonna take some hair and I'm just gonna try to pull this hair a little bit just to create like a lifting effect all right so I got some regular bobby pins and I'm just gonna put one and one more so we're gonna create like an X here because that's like a very secure way to fix your hair you can go with any accessories you want um, I'm just gonna go with this one and that's it this is look number one it's super easy I repeat you can do it on straight hair on wavy hair on curly hair super easy elegant chic all right so I'm gonna take the ones with the pearls and I'm gonna put two of them all right and this is another version of look number one okay let's go ahead into look number two for look number two we're gonna create two braids we're gonna create one braid here and uh, one braid here on the hairline so for that I'm gonna start with this section and I'm gonna create a Dutch braid I have another tutorial more in detail on how to create a Dutch braid and you can follow it. So I'm gonna create a Dutch braid and I'm gonna take hair from under. actually gonna stop right here I'm gonna take one small hair elastic 
and I'm gonna hide this a little bit with another piece of hair and I'm gonna put some bobby pins and what I'm gonna do I'm gonna pull the hair just to create more volume more texture if you want you can just leave it like this I think it looks very good very chic but I'm gonna do something else here and I actually want to separate this and I'm gonna create here the same like a touch braid but if you want you can create a regular French braid or a twist and I'm gonna do a semi one I'm not gonna attach here here I'm gonna skip that I'm just gonna attach here on this side and I'm gonna make it uh, very close to the hairline we get here we're gonna try to like make it a little bit tight to be as close as possible to the head and we're just gonna braid regularly without adding uh, more hair the same I'm gonna take a clear hair elastic and we're gonna start to pull the hair to create more texture and more volume all right and we're gonna fix this with bobby pins for bobby pins if you have dark hair you can use the black ones uh, I have like uh, dark brown ones which uh, they uh, blend very nice with my hair color and then we're gonna leave the, last, the rest of the hair so here we have the look number two And if you want to give to this ray some attention, you can fix this hair with a bobby pin. Just something like that. Oh, this braid is so pretty, I don't want to take it off. <laughs> look number three. For look number three, we're gonna play with some glitter. Yeah, glitter in your hair. Because why not? Because holidays. <laughs> I'm just gonna pull this hair, trying to make again like that lifting effect and I'm gonna put some bobby pins alright, I'm gonna take the other section so it's most likely like a, a twist of hair and just fix it with bobby pins right here where I split my hair, we're gonna apply glitter glue and glitter as glitter primer, I'm gonna use the NYX glitter primer. I'm gonna apply it on my hand first. And I'm gonna apply this first with my finger. And you can you can use a brush too if you want. For glitter, there are a lot of choices in the market. Uh, I just didn't got the chance to order something that it will be very good and not sacrifice one of my eyeshadow palettes. So for, for glitter, I'm gonna use the glitter from the Tati Beauty eyeshadow palette. The top layer, they're like big chunky glitters and they look very beautiful. And I'm gonna use Color Story uh, Soothe it's more like a warm color and also some other choices I have here uh, two glitters from Colourpop this one is like a beautiful pink and this one it's like a um, icy glitter I can show you so these ones are the one from Colourpop so as you see they're super pretty but I just want to play with more warm colors and I'm gonna apply the one from a Tati Beauty eyeshadow palette and there are also like the glitter in the jar that you can use you can apply on your hair I was really spontaneous with this video and I didn't really get it ready so I'm just gonna go in this eyeshadow palette and I'm gonna use uh, this shade these glitters are so pretty so the glitter primer really helps the glitter to stick to your hair so it's up to you how much you want to apply how much of an effect do you want you know what's funny I'm gonna meet with a friend after and I live in New York City you know it's so cool that everybody can wear whatever makeup they want and it's just like people that won't stare at you you know what I'm saying like you can really express yourself without having people staring at you and whoever wants to stare at you we New Yorkers don't care <laughs> 
I kind of like that, you know, there you see a lot of creative people out there really wearing like makeup and interesting clothes and hair colors and it's not something like wow i cannot wear that and i'm gonna go also into the shade from the color story aura so this one it's more icy Ooh, so pretty and we want to like diffuse it a little bit not to have like a straight line and that's it this is look number three and if you like you can apply actually some glitter on your eyes to kind of like match with your hair uh however you want be creative wear whatever you want don't be ashamed don't be scared to wear something that you enjoy to wear unfortunately i don't know how good this will get on the camera and as a final look i'm just gonna keep this bow the glitter and the christmas tree i think it looks super festive thank you very much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe and ring the notification bell for more videos to come I'm getting ready a makeup tutorial for Christmas and New Year's Eve. I wish you happy holidays, Merry Christmas. I hope you're gonna celebrate the, the holidays with your family. And if that's not possible, I hope you have the loved ones close to you, your friends. I'm gonna send you a big hug and kisses. And I hope you will have a lot of fun and a great time with your loved ones. And stay tuned, see you in my next video. Bye!